Only a believer can be faithful. I have taken your sin away. As a believer, you have the faith and love from a hope stored up. All things are created by him and for him, me. All things are held together by me. Jesus transformed, so have I, and soon, so will the world. Jesus is before all. Jesus is the firstborn of the dead. Jesus is supreme in all things. All of God's fullness dwells in me. God is using me to bring and reconcile all things to Him. God is bringing all in heaven and earth to Him. Jesus has made peace with God by the shedding of his blood on the cross. I am without blemish and accusations by the death of Jesus. I have made a public spectacle of all powers and authorities. Jesus has triumphed all by the cross. I will make the Sabbath day holy again. This is the first fruit of blessings, which means there are more to come. We are to forgive because Jesus took the punishment for us so we could be forgiven. This is the glory and greatness and majesty people can see and sense. The gospel is the good news and message of Jesus. Grace is showing love and kindness to someone who doesn't deserve it. And the heart of Jesus' message is God's grace. He loves people and saves them even while they are still fighting against him.
Hallelujah means praise the Lord. So say it daily. The new heaven and new earth is a wonderful place where everyone does what is right. God is shaking all evil out of heaven and earth. Believers in Jesus have citizenship in heaven. The promised land belongs to Israel as God's heirs. As heirs, we receive righteousness, eternal life, and the kingdom of God. God is holy. Therefore, be holy and pure and set apart for God. God's people are holy and God will make them perfect. God is perfect doing nothing wrong. The Holy Spirit wor worked through men to produce the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is one of the three persons of God. The Holy Spirit was active in creating the world. The Holy Spirit can powerfully fill certain people. Am I friend or foe? Neither. I am the captain. The Holy Spirit now lives in all God's people by Jesus. The Holy Spirit makes you new. It teaches and gives you freedom. An idol is anything you worship instead of the true God. Jesus taught better because he was more mature and perfect than others. Jesus delivered what the Holy Spirit told him. Jerusalem is where the temple of God is to be built. 